Hi, in this video I'll show you a piece of contemporary art, or however you want to call it. That is that. It's basically a modular PC case that I designed some time ago. Now, this is my current computer. It has a Thermaltake Core V1 Snow Edition case. And I recently upgraded to an RX 68000 XT GPU. I was very lucky to get the Founders Edition on the day it launched, for like 5 minutes. A Ryzen 7 5800X CPU, 32 gigs of RAM, and honestly, it's more than what I could ask for. But here is the other thing. Now, it's basically made to be modular, you see. This one here is my first version, may have some flaws, but it's got four modules. The bottom one is the power supply module, the middle one is the motherboard module, this one here, the more thicker one, is the GPU module, and that one is the hard drive module, from which you can put up to two. That is the front side, um, front view, side view, and the bottom view. You can see the cutout for the power supply, the motherboard I.O., GPU, and the hard drive doesn't really need any cutouts. Um, now, I could have printed two of these, but honestly, for the test, I'm only going to use one, so I better being saving some filament and right now it is empty I need to put on since I couldn't afford to buy an entire system just for this I'll actually be using my current uh, thingies on my computer like the motherboard, CPU cooler, everything I'll use it on here since this was made for mini ITX motherboards and that's just what my computer has so I'll see you soon Hello again, and this time we'll bring a small update. So I took off all of the side panels, and now you can take a better look at the internals, the GPU. I forgot to mention this was the non-XT variant, so the 68000 GPU. The power supply is in there, it's a Corsair RM750X, white, just like the case. And yeah, have a better look at the internals. I already took out all of the wires from the CPU, power supply stuff. Um, I gotta say it's not the best case to do cable management, but even then, for example, this wire here managed to have it just here, so that it wouldn't be visible, so you could probably remember from the video before. Anyways, now I'm gonna put the motherboard into the motherboard module. Now, I'm not sure just how well it will show in the video, since the lighting really is complete garbage in here, but I actually made it so that it has the four standoffs for the GPU screws, and we also see how the cutouts for the extension cables and stuff work. So, see you soon again. <laughs> Second update on the build. So, I finally took the remaining panels from the case, the GPU, which is now standing over there. And, yeah, this is what was left of the original case. The good thing about this was that I did manage to slide in the motherboard without any problems. And it sits nicely in three of the four stand-ups. Only issue was with this one, it this fourth one, which you probably cannot see, oh, there it is, it kind of touches with the back side of the motherboard, so it is left slightly more elevated than the other side, as well as this being a version I wasn't really able to test with any components, I should have put the I.O. a bit more to the side, but hey, that can all be tweaked for the next version. Anyways, next step will be to put the power supply into the power supply module. So I'm back, and in case you're wondering where I went, basically to do some adjustments to the modules themselves. You see, being this the first version, I wasn't actually able to test it with any proper computer components, so I wasn't sure whether all the measurements were going to be correct. And well, some were too small, some were just not right, so I basically went to adjust them so that I could at least try it out properly. The good thing is that I've taken notes of all the little things that I have to change for version 2, which I'll be printing out soon, and that version will be the one that will have the proper connectors and everything. Oh, I also had to take out this part here because it was just dingling very, very badly from the bad, from the error while it was printing. Um, and yeah, some other little stuff like the GPU bracket that I made has to be 7mm higher, like the one that supports there. But well, for now, I'm just gonna pop in the power supply back in here, the motherboard in there, pass through the wires through there, and 
yeah, just see if at least this first version, this first version can work with the second one hopefully being actually modular with being able to pop in and out perfectly and all that stuff. All right, so I got everything set up. The power supply is in, screwed with two screws. The motherboard is also inside, sits nicely, although I still gotta fix that fourth hole thingy and the lid, as well as I got a power switch thingy since obviously this does not have a power button. And I could have gone ahead and put the hard drive module too, but I'd rather do that for the second version. Now that'll probably be everything done. Now I just wanna see that this works and I haven't broken anything while putting it there. I realized that the CPU doesn't have an integrated GPU, so yes or yes, I had to put my GPU in there, and boy is this a Frankenstein ugly thing. Um, hopefully, obviously for version 2, it'll be much better, but for now, this is what I had to do <laughs> in order to get the system running. And with this, the build is finally done. Now, lots went into back scenes where for some reason the system wouldn't post at all and I got really scared, I tried several things but eventually I found out that using a riser you gotta switch the PCIe to Gen 3 because this one's Gen 4, so is the CPU and the mobile but the riser itself I think doesn't support that so I had to switch manually to Gen 3 using the other GPU because otherwise it wouldn't even post and then switch back to this GPU to have the system work. Now, honestly, I could have just gone for this one for the testing and not have all this wires around here, but hey, at least now I can use this computer to do some work while the other one is printing. So anyways, that was all for this video. Um, it was quite a mess, I know, but hopefully version two will be much better. And well, if you have any questions or comments about this, make sure to leave them in the comments below. Um, it's been quite a ride, but hey, hopefully it'll be worth it. Anyways, that was all, and thank you for watching.